Broken umbrellas are not only an eyesore after a bad storm, they also litter our streets and add more waste to our landfills. But at Recycling Cycle, we take busted up, broken umbrellas out of the trash and off of the streets, turning them into chic, stylish, functional soft goods and apparel for people and their pets. We also receive umbrellas from people across the country who donate them to us via snail mail. In order for this umbrella rescuing program to catch on, both nationwide and globally, we needed to figure out a way to reduce shipping costs as much as possible. The lower the shipping costs, the more likely you are to send us your broken umbrella. This video tutorial demonstrates how to easily remove the lightweight nylon fabric of the broken umbrella from the tangled metal skeleton which greatly reduces the shipping costs. The metal umbrella skeletons can be recycled and the salvaged nylon doesn't spend the rest of its days in a landfill. Before you start, you are going to need a few things. A broken umbrella, gloves, pliers, scissors, and an X-Acto knife. You may also want to have a hammer nearby. You want to start by removing the top of the umbrella. Sometimes it's as easy as unscrewing a cap. Other times there may be pins holding it on or it may be necessary to hit the top with a hammer to loosen the cap in order for it to be pulled off. After you have removed the top, you will want to turn the umbrella over, making sure it is open, and identify the threads that attach the canopy to each of the metal or plastic arms. There are usually between three and four points of attachment on every arm. Carefully slide the X-Acto blade under the metal arm and go around the entire umbrella, cutting the thread that attaches the canopy. You can also use scissors to cut the thread, but you must be very careful not to damage the nylon. The next step is to remove the caps at the end of each arm. Sometimes it just takes a little tug to remove them, but other times they are sewn on. If you cannot pull the cap off, it is easiest to just clip the fabric very carefully and crisply, as close to the edge as possible. When you have finished removing the caps, you should be able to easily separate the nylon from the metal. If you cannot, check that you have cut all attachment threads and cut accordingly. When you are all done, shake the nylon fabric out and fold it up neatly. Insert it into an appropriate size mailing envelope and address it to Recycling Cycle, care of Terran Cycle, 2033 Spruce Street, Apartment BR, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19103.